If I get to the prayer meeting and she's not around, in my mind, I would feel like I feel like that prayer meeting is, is problematic. It's not the fire is not there that day. But in my mind, when I see her, I will not talk to her. <laughs> I just once, but once I see, I'll be very happy. Ah, she came today, but in the inside of me, I was just the love. The more I pray against anything from her, the more it expands. So I confirm that this is real love, real love. <laughs> so, Yet I did not tell her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but one thing I just noticed was that. It's like, you know, for guys, you can hide it if you're interested in a lady. So I, as the time grew, I knew he was actually interested in me. But get to know what? He never knew I was interested in him. Uh, when we met, we met during the prayer meeting, as in we started going to pray together. He never knew I was interested in him. The way I would show myself, the way I, but there was that day he came back from school. I was actually seeking admission then. He came back from school, was like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's sister joking? I just said, uh, when he just saw me, I just gave, gave him a cold, a cold welcome. Okay. I, are you going to come to my school? I said, no, I don't need it. My friend needs it. I don't know. I'm not going to show you that. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> Let me quickly come here. This lady that you are seeing that is talking now that everybody is like, ah, we love her. I had to work on her. I spent time to work on her. I'm, you I'm, a, I'm a personal developer. Are you God? I had, to, I had to do labor. I had to work. See, I she's really she has really been worked on because hmm, she can just be looking at you like this. She will not even say a word. What of the burst? And the I tell uh -huh, I remember <laughs> this one. Do you know that? We boarded the same bus. <laughs> she saw me. I knew she saw me. She did not greet me. I was even trying to greet, and she was like, mm, with nose pointed as if I'm not in existence. Ah, myself. I said, what? Me? Me? Moi? <laughs> Handsome, yekebo, husband to be. I just said, me? No female can bring my rep to the to the background. I just did as if I did not see her. So now... So now what add insult to injury? I paid for her transport. I know that she saw me, she did not greet and listen. I paid for her transport and I just left. You know, I was now looking at who is this? Which which kind of weird human being is this? <laughs> she saw me and she did not and I did not blame her because even myself, I did not show it to her. Do you know I from secondary school days I knew that this is my future wife to be. I don't call her like that. I don't communicate with her. I think the only time we started showing some level of uh, seriousness or interest was when I was already what through with my education and I was working. That was when I just can say, yes, it's now time to go and get married. Why? Because I did all that to safeguard myself and to safeguard her too, because in the process, you know, I don't want the story to end up like uh, uh, she came to the house, Nepal now took light, then you were now looking for matches, and as you were looking for matches, and Sheikh now became too fighting, and from there, somebody is spitting. <laughs> okay, there's this word. So, before we actually got, do you want to know how I got to know it was to be my husband? Mm, mm -hmm. That's, okay, when I was 20 years old, we're still having the prayer meeting together. I was just feeling all this. So my friend told me, what if this... We used to call him whatever. <laughs> we used to call him whatever, whatever. That's the code. He used to say, ah, hey, we would just come and lead prayer and say, ah, whatever, whatever. They say, ah, whatever. <laughs> he doesn't like to say things like, maybe all this relationship, all this sex, isn't it? As if, he would just be shy. and say, whatever, whatever. It was when I was 20 years old. Then I was in school, I was doing IGMB somewhere across states, uh, Western Nigeria, Africa to be precise. So I was in school, I was just praying, reading, doing everything. Then uh, 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 a friend of mine just said, hmm, this one that you're thinking of, this whatever, better be sure is actually the one for you. Then I had a, a, a message saying, you should, it's not when you want to eat that you think of preparing the food, maybe when you're first thing, you should have known Will you get married so that you don't get married to the wrong person? So I just decided to call it upon myself that day. Then I called on, please don't think I'm religious as in, just please practice your own religion. I decided to pray to my girl. Then I said, Daddy, I'm not going to leave here until you tell me 
who I'm going to get married to. I'll show it to you. Who I'm going to get married to. Do you know why you have to tell me? If you don't tell me now, when I go back home from this IGMB, there'll be different people trying to say, I want to get married to you. And if I say yes to the wrong person, that's waste. And if I say no to the right person, that's disaster. So, and either way, I must make a decision. So, daddy, I just got to know. Do you understand? It's just like a do or die matter. I have to know if this is the right person, then I say right to the, yes to the right person. If this, so, that was how I prayed. I just heard his name. I was hearing his name. I was hearing, I said, no, no, he can't be good. It's because he's handsome. It's because he's this. I said, that is your husband. That is your husband. As, as in repeated like three times. And I said, if he's my husband, let this happen. Let that happen. <laughs> so that was how I started watching. And do you know one pathetic word? I want to say that. Even when I now got that confirmation, that was before I got in the university. I got in the university with A levels, IJMB. I got in 200 level economics. When I got out of the university, I was I went into the village somewhere to do some things for God and all likes. I now called him because throughout my 400 level, I didn't even call him for once. I said I was going to stay focused. I don't like at times maybe he would just send me how we describe maybe at times he would just send me what's it called mail. mail so whenever i see his mail if i don't see his mail for long i'll be dying inside i'll be saying oh i want to see his mail <laughs> so if i don't see his mail there was this time i just said let him send me a mail and i went there i just saw him his uh, uh, email address sent me a mail and when we got married to you now he said he did not send that mail so I don't know how that thing happened. And he was actually saying something about, I was just, so when I now got to 400 level, I said, I'm not going to call him. And, and he went for service that year. He went for service the year I was in 400 level. I didn't call him. I didn't do anything. So when I, and I was out of 400 level, I was out of school. I went to the village somewhere. I was having this passion. I couldn't keep it. I wanted to see him. I wanted to talk to him. So I now called his number. Gay, gay. <laughs> Do you know what happened? As I called his number. Mm -mm. So guess what happened when I called his number? <laughs> As I just called his number, he just say, hey. He just called, he just answered me like, uh, this was somebody I was dreaming of, thinking of, I couldn't sleep because, <laughs> yes, I have to be sincere. As in, but I, I couldn't sleep. I was just saying, uh, I want to go die. I want to so I now called him. The way he responded was like he has forgotten me. <laughs> Actually, you know, let me tell you something. To be sincere, that period it was like fading away from the memory because distractions, several distractions was just coming up. Even from the university days, you know, distractions that were not there were just coming up, you know, um, maybe because of not, I wasn't more serious with God, my relationship with God was draggy, I was too much of bookish, I was doing tutorial here and there, I was becoming a popular jingo, people were looking at me as, ah, this guy is brilliant, and, you know, and when they see all those stuff, it opens up a market for and girls. And different girls, different, were Different girls. Different girls. <laughs> so, those ones... The competition was now in between the ones you can really see that they are there and you are flowing with and the one that you are not even sure if she has received you as her husband to be, you know, that was exact, exactly what actually happened then. And that was exactly what I sensed because I was in the spirit. Mm. Yes, mind mm. my lips. I was in the mm. spirit. My girl in me, mom. Get, get. I felt, guy, look at this guy. I'm busy tripping for, and he has actually forgotten me as, I said, never. No guy can ever do it. Make me cry because I used to, I believe I have this prestige. So do you know what I did? I deleted his number from my phone. I wrote his number, especially in my Bible. I went there. I colored it. I colored it. So that in case I'm I'm falling in any stupid love or I'm lost in or <laughs> yes I call it stupid love I cannot even see his number to call I call Lord this number out of my life Ben Ben who who are you I just threw him off I said yes if you want to throw me off mind you I'm not gonna 
I just threw him off. So you know what happened? When I now got to the story is just becoming interesting. When I got home from that service, I now felt pain in my heart. I now took it upon myself. I started praying for him. Then from that uh, time, we started communicating on a... Uh, yes, I think we started communicating. We just... I'll be telling him something about God. I a relationship with God. Make sure. And I discovered something. This is a real cogent point. <laughs> <laughs> 